Hey guys, the fall is one of the best times to find crappie schooled up like this. And you can vertical jig these fish with a jigging spoon and have a ball. Hey, stay with us and hope you enjoy the video. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. Nice and right there, y'all. Woo, doggy boy. Wildlife Adventures, that's how we roll. What is happening, guys? So in the fall, um, so we start this video. In the fall, crappy really began to school up really heavily. Uh, you know, from late summer on into, you know, sometimes into December, if it's warm enough to be on into December. Uh, I think this year the fall's a little early, so you'll see them disperse a little earlier than December this year. Just my opinion. And uh, anyway, we rode around the lake. We located some fish. Uh, we're going to try to pitch a spoon to them. A lot of times they're a little more reactive. Water temperatures dropped a little bit. And they'll react good to spoons. One of my most favorite ways to catch crappie is jigging a spoon to them. It's just a lot of, a lot of action. You're jigging that spoon. you got multiple fish striking at it. Boom! It's just exciting. So let's turn around here and catch a fish. And I'm going to show you these fish here in just a few minutes. Uh, just how many of crappy are schooled up. Now I'll lift the rod. I lift the rod up a little bit and allow the lure to drop back. When when you're popping that lure uh, up in the water column, it, it's probably jumping to 24 to 30 inches. And uh, you know this is this is a little bit smaller crappy. Boom, here. Uh, you know, he is probably nine and three quarter inches. Uh, we're looking to keep fish over 10. And uh, so, you know, basically if you, you get the jig down in there and you're, you're jerking, I don't sweep it a long way. Some people do. I like a quick jerk. Lure runs up and falls. It's an eighth, so it falls fairly slow. Just keep that action. And sometimes I'll just hold it still. And sometimes you'll get bit just dead sticking it, as they call it. I'm going to use my other GoPro to show you this, and I hope it shows up. It's kind of bright and sunny. Uh, so I have my live scope set out looking 45 feet. So I'm looking out into the water 45 feet. And five feet. And there's a picture of just how many crappie are out on this hump right there. Now I'm going to zoom it in just a little bit. Uh, let's zoom it in to about 35 feet and I'm going to get right back over them. Boom. And I'm just moving the live scope back and forth. You can see all of those crappy uh, stacked on top of this hump. So you would think there's probably, I, I would say 500 crappy here, and that's probably a, a, a conservative estimate. You would think that you just throw it down in the water and they bite it, but not necessarily. They are schooled up for protection. And uh, sometimes they don't bite or they do bite. And so basically when you find them schooled up like this, we're gonna throw the spoon out. We're gonna allow it to flutter down into fish and we're just going to give it a little just a little jig some of these fish are up in the water column as high as 10 feet and you get fish up in the water column that shallow many times those fish will bite uh, i'd much rather see them at 10 foot than be fishing them at 20. and you know not necessarily uh, we're going to start out with this method 
of jigging. Uh, we made vertical jigs, some uh, plastic lures to these fish. And I could actually see this lure falling. Some people, some people like the live scope, some people don't. It is a tool for me and to use. And it is a tool, just like a cell phone, uh, that we all use. So technology is a, uh, is, a, is, a, is a wonderful thing. And see, I, I twitched that and it was falling back. And you got a feel for, you got a feel for a, uh, for a bite. You know, another fish is about nine and a half. We're looking for a little bit larger fish. But hey, we can't help what bikes to lure can we boom another reason I change the single hooks it's a little easier to get them out of the crappy's mouth and you don't tear his mouth up if he gets that lure way down in his mouth and he's small that treble hook and you're trying to dig it out sometimes you you know you'll kill the fish uh, so I changed all mine and I use gold but just because I like a, I like a gold hook uh, if you actually want to try doing some vertical jigging. Now, <clears throat> I don't have any more of my, since COVID, I had some white jigging spoons that, that was about an inch and three quarters. And since COVID, I guess the manufacturer shut down. I have lost all those jigging spoons. Um, you know, just another small crappy. And if I had, on a day like this, the water's got a little dens to it, I would be fishing that white one, but I don't have any more. So I chose silver. Gold is also good. I catch a lot of, uh, a lot of crappie on gold, and I may switch to gold here uh, at some point in time, not sure. Basically, we're fishing a reaction strike. Is what we're fishing. Uh, that that's 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 kind of what we're fishing. A reaction strike. Now I'm watching. I you know I have to watch this. I can watch that spoon on live scope go right down to the fish. But if I did not have live scope, for those of you who don't like live scope, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to count this down. So the fish are right in front of me. Let's say I threw a buoy marker out on these fish. Well, let me get my lure all fixed. All right, that is an eighth ounce. So the fish are right out in front of me. So I'm going to drop it in the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, and that lure is 12 and a half to 13 foot deep. I'm jigging it because it's right in the fish. Jigging it and just let it fall back. Jig. Jig it, let it fall back. Now see, I was holding that basically still. Thinks he's he thinks he's mean. He might make the 10 inch grade. Now he'll make the 10 inch grade. Boom. I say boom. There it is right there, jigging spoon. I tipped it with that Lake Country Bait ice color, that white. I'm gonna drop him in the live well. nine and a half nine and three quarters like I said we're gonna keep them fell over ten uh, you know pretty fish 
reacted on the flutter back down that particular time. I do notice one thing that these crappy are doing. Every time a boat comes by, they, they are in tight ball. Every time a boat comes by out here by us, they, they, they disperse out like this, and then they come back. Whatever, whatever reason, don't, don't know why they're doing that. Uh, maybe you can comment. Maybe you, uh, maybe somebody out there uh, knows. But just what I've noticed. Basically, I'm right over top of the fish. Um, I like to keep them out front. hit it on the drop. These are these it's getting fall man. These fish these fish have done got a little aggressive. Now see he kinda hooked him in the side of the mouth. And that is because he swiped at the lure. We'll check him out. I don't know if I'm gonna keep him. He's pushing 10. Uh we've got some decent fish. We'll put him back. But you know, again, you know, jigging can be a lot of fun uh, for somebody who's never done it. If, if, so if you get somebody in the boat and they're not familiar with it, you know, you'll have to tell them to count it down just like I, I did earlier. You know, you know it's an eighth and if they giving it line, uh, they can count about eight or nine and be within the fish each time. And, uh, it's a lot of fun for them to feel that thud. So you always get to feel that thump. That's what it's all about. We like to feel that thump. Let's get back over here. There's a, we're gonna move. There's a, there are different schools of fish out here. And not necessarily they're all together, but they're, they're just different schools of fish. That, um, and I found there's like pods of fish and we can fish one pod and you know catch a few fish out of them. Then they get a little, they get a little lethargic we can move to another pod and, they, and they're a little more active. They get, they get spooky is, is the problem. He had it, but lost it. And so jigging, the main thing I can tell you about jigging, I always start out with just a, just a, just a twitch of the hand, twitch of the hand, flutter up, flutter back. And I may, I may do three things at one time. I may pick the rod up and just let it fall back slow. Just pick it up slow and let it, and what you're doing a control fall. Or I may just dead stick it. Three, three different ways and I may do that. If, I don't, if I'm not getting bit one way, I'll change. And I'll do three different things. Sometimes just dead sticking it. They'll come over there and knock it bejeebies out of it. Alrighty, we had a new spot. Got the jigging spoon out. I'm gonna pitch the jigging spoon out and see if we can get a fish to react. like that we just got here this feels like a decent sized fish oh yeah one for the pot boom jig and spoon quick reaction now probably once you get to a new spot you hit them with a the jig and spoon it's probably going to slow down but hey we got something for that too Wind boogered me up. I started on the wrong side of the wind, so I gotta flip the boat around. This structure is 15 feet of water. I'm pitching out 
sticks up about four feet off the bottom. And I'm just jigging the spoon over top of it. I will get hung up in it, so I have to be fairly careful uh, not to get hung up in it. Like I said, the jigging spoon is a little less forgiving. It's a little heavier. It'll sink down in the brush. Uh, I actually have gotten a little closer than I wanted to to start off with to this particular brush. All right, I'm gonna pitch right out there. I was dead sticking that then. I was just trying to concentrate on uh, moving the trolling motor. Another good crappy. The jigging spoon. Boom. Good crappy. A little short, a uh, little thin. We'll put him back. We've got some we've got some good crappies. He'd have made the 10 inch mark though. Okay, so I'm back about 15 feet uh, from the fish. Pitched it lower out. I saw all those crappy when this one come up out of the middle. Them crappy dispersed like a covey of quail. Boom. Man, that's a that's good crappy right there, y'all. Boy, he hammered that thing. Hey. There, boy, he hammered that thing. Good gracious, a lot. Okay, so another one for the pot. I'm getting close to my limit. I need to count some jokes. That's what we're looking for. About a crappy right there. The jig and spoon. Boom. These fish are a lot deeper than those other fish we just left there. These fish are about 20 feet deep. Good crappy there. Boom. So anyway guys, we're gonna end this video. Uh, fall is a great time to catch fish jigging because they are schooled up. Deep water ledge here. So fall is a good time to catch fish uh, with these jigging spoons. Uh, we caught a bunch of fish jigging. They reacted good. Uh, these fish we just fished are about 20 feet of water, schooled up fairly tightly. And uh, sometimes it's just like that. We've caught them on the docks. We've caught them on shallow brush. Uh, we've caught fish jigging in a variety of ways. Uh, so jigging can be, just add that to your arsenal. You can find those jigging spoons at most stores. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all the subscribers we've been getting. Uh, see if you can get two of your friends to subscribe to the channel. It don't cost you anything. Hit the like button and click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And remember, God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Hey guys, you remember, it's a wildlife. I'll see you in the